my name is Richard Mulvey, and this is the PSASA Brainery. Why bother to become a speaker? There's a number of reasons why people get into this industry, and the first, and I believe most noble, is people want to help other people. You have something you want to share, uh, maybe some experiences that you want to share other, with other people so that they can learn from your mistakes or learn from your successes. The second reason is to earn a living, perhaps. Uh, perhaps you have a talent for speaking and, and you want to share that with other people so that you can earn a really good living. Well, there's a good living to be made, but not everybody gets there. The third area that might encourage you to become a speaker is the desire for recognition. Right up there at uh, the top of Maslow or Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you find the desire for recognition. We all like to be recognized. The fourth area that may encourage you to become a speaker is fame and fortune. Uh, be a little bit careful with this one. Some people become famous and earn a fortune as professional speakers, but they are very much in the minority. According to Simply Hired, simplyhired.com uh, in America, the uh, average speaker gets paid less than the average nurse or the average teacher. And uh, you know what? If you're looking for fame and fortune, you better be very, very good if you expect to get there. So there's a wide variety of reasons why pe people become a speaker. For you, you must make up your mind what's important to you. My name is Richard Mulvey and this is the PSASA Brainery Programme.